Hi, this is Gladys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today I'm going to talk to you about color in life because I believe art has so many similarities to life. I've been asking you about your favorite color, your favorite color combination, and I'm going to share with you what I learned in color theory, which just blew me away. Natural light, which is electric magnetic radiation, it's all around us. It contains all the colors of the spectrum, but we don't see them. Maybe when we see a rainbow, we see the different beautiful colors. But on a day-to-day, -day, we don't see them. Light is energy, and color has a frequency. And color is the byproduct of the energy hitting matter. When this happens, for instance, in my t-shirt, when all the natural light hits my t-shirt, the color that I'm seeing is the color that was not absorbed by my t-shirt, which is green in this case. So the green frequency bounces off my t-shirt into my eye and then my eye sends it to my brain and says, ah, green. But we know this is not actually green. It's just the color that's not being absorbed. And we know that because when we change the source of light, the green changes in tint and shape. Now our eyes have rods and cones, which allow us to interpret the color that we see. And since we are all different, the green that I see may be a completely different green than somebody else is seeing. As a matter of fact, some people can't even see green because they're colorblind, and that has to do with the rods and cones in their eyes. This is why sometimes you see on the internet photographs of a dress or sneakers, and they ask, what color is this? And people have a different response, but they're responding to what's real to them. That's the way they actually see it. So how does this remind me of life? First of all, light reestablishes energy. And love is energy, and love is all around us. And we may not be able to see it physically, oh, there's love, but we can see it in people through their actions. But we can also see it when love is not being fully absorbed. We see it in the world, there are people that are hateful, they're cruel, there's so much darkness. Because when we block love, we feel separate from others. Yet, we're still surrounded by love. And we can see it in people that are fully absorbing love because they are compassionate and they're kind to others. And the way we interpret the color through our rods and cones in our eyes, that also reminds me of our own filters. Since we're born, we have created filters. And these filters that determine how we see things, our perception of life. How many times have we had a conversation with one person and we walk away, and then we come back later and we find out we totally misunderstood the conversation. Well, that's not because we were wrong or the other person was wrong. It's because we have different filters, different perceptions on the same thing. It is a wonder we can communicate at all. But hopefully this will give you a little bit of awareness. Next time you're looking at a piece of artwork with somebody, maybe wonder, are they seeing the colors that you're seeing? Or if you're having a conversation, with somebody else, maybe wonder, am I really hearing the message they wanted to deliver? Good for thought. Anyway, do comment below. I would love to hear your feedback on this. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.